seen my girl Erica Dixon in forever. And we must have a lot of catching up to do, because last time I checked, her and Mama D hated each other. You did such an amazing job. Thank you. This lady right here. I see your new body. Yeah. Okay, girl. Boobies thicker than a nigga. Yeah. Up. Since when did y'all become so cool? Because you know, at one it's point in time. It kind of happened. I never would have thought. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Oh, look at them, girl. I'm so proud of them. I see <laughs>My name is Erica. I'm a single mother, and I've been dating the rapper Lil Scrappy on and off about 10 years. And we have a gorgeous six-year-old daughter named Imani. My name is Lil Scrappy. I'm the Prince of the South, born and raised, probably going to die in the A. You know what I'm saying? When we first met, Scrappy wasn't a household name. So, I get right. And then I do my thing for me. But in 2006, he met with Lil John, did his first album, and things took off from there. Come on. You know the story. You hold a man down, his career takes off, and he's on to the next chick. The new girl happened to be an Atlanta rapper named Diamond. The affair was public and it hurt me. But the tables turned when Diamond had a public relationship with Soldier Boy and Scrappy came limping home to me. We're trying to move forward with our relationship. I just don't know if I'm all in the relationship right now. What did I tell you? I said no cheese. When everything went down, my baby mama, Erica, was the first person I called and told the whole thing to. She said, I know you're hurting and all that, but you know you got a daughter. She needs you, so get it together. Do you think you'll be here if Diamond had, had a relationship with Soulja Boy? I always thought about that, like, dang, you know, I ain't give my little girl a good shot at seeing her mom and dad together and, you know, seeing that family how it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? My question is you. Like, how do you really feel? Do you want to move forward? Like, you still in this, moving forward, or...? I feel the love, but it ain't clicking on that end. Like, what I be telling you, you're not too, you know... Affectionate. Affectionate. It's hard to tell sometimes, you feel We've me? We've been so much the cheating and just just from a woman's perspective like it's hard to just just trust and believe you know your every word your every move when i first found out about you and diamond's relationship do you know how i felt yeah, i kind of sort of do i felt betrayed at this point i don't put anything past scrappy he says he wants affection but he was getting a lot of that before he moved on to diamond and I do want to, you know, try and move forward, but I want you to know at the end of the day, this round two. Yeah, so, this round two. It's all or nothing. Oh, it's me. Wow, what's up, girl? I fixed my new place up. It's looking good. And so I called Erica to have a chat with her about how Scrappy feels about her, how she feels about my son, and where this is really going. I called you over here because Scrappy is used to the love, overbearing mother. I know. Nothing against you, but he's saying he's missing that in the relationship. I'm coming to you as a woman, ah, black woman. Ah. Now, if you want him, I suggest you show him more little love, a little more comfort, because that's what he's expecting. I do show him love. What do you call taking him back after Diamond kicked him to the curb? Mama D is so into sheltering Scrappy that she can't see me showing him love. You step out of line at, at, as a mama. You don't know nothing about that. What you mean I don't because know nothing about that? Because of your past. Your mama raised you, you were raised by an ex. So what? That was still because you don't what know. They got to do you don't know that. about your realization about her mama. I guess she forgets where she comes from. She was a pimp. I'm in a relationship with Scrappy. That means me and Scrappy. So Mama D needs to mind her own business. You want her to be like you? You 48 and you alone. No, don't want me alone. So you want to see both your kids happy? Yeah. Regardless of who they with? 
Yes, but I gotta tell you, exception to the rule. <laughs> oh my God, I'm having a visual. Mm -hmm. He broke up with Diamond. Do you know the mother let the bitch back in as a soldier boy for a month? Tell me, if I'm happy, Mama, you should be happy. I couldn't. What you, what you just said? I couldn't. I couldn't. I went against it. The queen went against it. I'm on the throne, and I'm not giving up my seat until I know that it can be done right. Mama D can be crazy when it comes to her son. It makes things difficult for me, but it's hard not to feel sorry for her sometimes. You took your medicine away? No, I haven't had it in okay. five days. All right. But I do know this. Whatever is going on between you and Scrappy, try to fix it. Thank you. I haven't had a real relationship with my mother for about 10 years. Since reconnecting, she's really trying to be involved in my life, and maybe she's trying to make up for lost times. Let me ask you something. Do you know just between a boy and a man? Mm hmm What? Um, what's your saying? A man, um... Man does, does what he's supposed yeah, to do, boys boy do, do what they're told. made to do. Yeah. What, which one would you say Scrappy is? Um... Honestly. Honestly? He's a boy becoming a man. So you recognize him. Mm -hmm. You feel that you have to be with your baby's father? Oh, no. Don't? No. No. Like it's trying to make the family work? Trying no, no. to make it, trying to make it work? No. You don't? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I love Scrappy. Okay. I love, you love Ski. Well, you're so much more advanced, Erica. But that's your opinion, mama. It's like when you were going to school, he said he was going to go to school. You went to school and, and graduated and have a job. I just want you to be happy, Erica. I'm not putting Scrappy down. I don't dislike Scrappy. I feel that he can do more. I know that he can do more. I've seen him do more. See, like he's just at a standstill right now. He just can't get it together. He's not. That's just that's just how you feel and yeah, just you on the outside, outside looking Do in. Do you feel like that because your biological parents, me and your father, weren't actually there, even though you had the family love, that you want to make sure Imani is with her biological parents? No, because at the end of the day, I told Scrappy, regardless, if we don't work out, long as you happy and that little girl happy, I'm cool. Just want to make sure you weren't searching for that family, searching for that family, because no, you know, I know we weren't, we weren't there like we should have been. My mom raised me until I was about four or five, and then she got addicted to crack cocaine and consequently ended up going to prison. During her time at prison, I was sent to New York, raised by my aunt, and I didn't feel like my mom loved me. When we were in New York, raised by, you know, our aunt and uncle, it would be letters come, but they wouldn't come for me. And then I'd be hurt, I'd be crying, we'll go to church, and then i go up, you know, to pray. I'm like eight years old, eight, nine years old, and it got to the point where Claude Steen was like, quit going up there, you know, asking, you know, God. all I would ask is, could, could she write me a letter, or could she, you know, show me love? I don't want to talk about this. I wrote you letters, Erica, and I all flick at me. Oh, thank you. I wrote you letters, and I never stopped loving you. You was always in my heart, and I wrote you. I wrote you letters. I felt like you was ashamed that you was ashamed of me, because I know people used to tell you all oh, your mother's um, your mother's on drugs, which was true. I'm not in denial. I'm not proud of it, but it's the truth, and I can't change the truth. Me going through the ups and downs and, you know, the trials and the relationship with me and my mom just made me a better person, made me, hell, the mother I am today. And I feel like I'm a damn good mother. But I never stopped loving you. Never. Okay. Do you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. Do you really love me? Mm hmm I love you too. Can I have a hug? How you doing so far? Pretty good. I'm getting there. Oh, wow. I'm getting there. You got a little ways to go. I love Scrappy, and we've been through so much. We're a unit. We're a family unit. But with him moving out, we're going to be together because we want to be together, not because we were put in that situation. I was kind of keeping something from you. I didn't know how you was going to take it. But I had a little incident. Take your friends with you. <laughs> That's your cousin. <laughs> That's your cousin, O.P. <laughs> But when I had met up with the girls, um, I kind of had a 
rude introduction, I guess, to um, Stevie J. Heard a lot about him. Oh, really? Yeah. Anywho, we at the table talking, and his baby mama sitting next to me, and um, he's trying to get her to give him a kiss. She's just like, I'm cool, you know, I'll talk to you later, and whoop, whoop. She so, wouldn't give him no kiss? No, she wouldn't. Why she give him no kiss? I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm sitting there looking, and he's being, like, aggressive with it, like, yo, mom, give me kiss. So she didn't give him a kiss. He walks off or whatnot. I'm like, yo, mom, give me a kiss. So I guess he was offended. You know, he heard me mocking him. He come trucking on along back to the table. He was like, what the f you say? Wow. You know, me slow motion, like, what? Wow. I'm like, exactly what you said. He was like, no, bitch, what the f you say? Bitch. Yes, bitch. No. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's what he called me. Did he know you prior to then? No. So he just come him. down here and just think it's cool to, you know, not know a chick get killed like that. You feel me? Because you don't know. This is like somebody walking up to your mama and you cuss her out and next thing you know, your dome piece is on the ground somewhere. You feel me? I think I deserve an apology, like, for real. He needs oh, no, to apologize. We're going to get an apology. We're going to get more than an apology. And, like, I want to rough him up, though. You feel me? I want to put them paws on him did that, you know what I'm saying, just for, you know what I'm saying, getting out of line, talking about bitch, and you don't even know who you talking to. I can't even let that slide. That's why I'm at with it. I done picked up too many boxes, you feel me? I'm mad. But I'm at that sucking you feel me? On everything. I'm on probation. I ain't trying to get into no drama, no altercations, but homeboy, Mr. Stevie, whoever he is, definitely gonna get a visit from your boy. I'm gonna be very politically hood correct about it when I check him, when I check his tongue. Politically you know? hood correct. Politically hood correct. You feel me? Real spit. All right. After Stevie J introduces himself very rudely and calls me a bitch, Scrappy decides to meet up with him and he's gonna check him about disrespecting me. I heard through the grapevine that that little fella is at the studio tonight and I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's, that's him right now. It's me, the bitch. <laughs> wow. What's yep. up, Ma? How are you? What's up? I ain't nothing. Anything gravy? Mm -hmm. you know, so I've been I've been looking for you. I wanted to have a word with you. It was crazy. It was a little, you know, out of order. I was drinking and all that. You know what I'm saying? If I called you a bitch, I want to apologize to you. Did you know this was my baby mama? Cause I don't know you. Mm -hmm. on, on, on everything, I don't know you. Only time I ever heard of you was the BH one behind the scenes with E. You okay. feel me? Okay, okay. I heard, you feel me? You got real disrespectful with baby mama. At the end of the day, like, my nigga, like, I don't, I mean, I see you grown, man. You feel me? You know how to handle your business. So at the end of the day, like, I take that the disrespect. You feel me? I take well, it this yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. I take the disrespect for just because you got a baby mama. I got you feel two me? of them. I got like five of them. Five of them. You yeah. feel me? I got a yeah. daughter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who I never let her talk to her like that. You feel yeah, me? I right. never, I never. That. I feel real disrespected. I know she didn't even know him enough to, for him even to come out his tongue like that. You disrespect your chick, you feel me? But don't disrespect nobody else, because that gets you hurt. If I cut your but, out right now, if wait, I cut your Wait, wait, wait. What's the problem? She no, has it. I'm just saying, if I can show you, you feel me? Say you bitch. Irrelevant. You feel me? Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me just say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me just 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 getting with Stevie. Now her man is coming to check Stevie and calling me a bitch. Hold up, what's going on? Who are I'm you? Jocelyn Hernandez, baby. Who are you? Baby. Who? Oh, no. Jocelyn oh, Hernandez. Bitch. Any who? It doesn't matter, but Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, Jocelyn Hernandez. Like, who? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Who is you? Yeah. Who are you? You doing all this hooping and hollering, getting them out your mouth, and, and listen, I don't have anything to do with Stevie J. I don't even know him. Who are you? 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 Who are Why? So why? So why? 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 Questioning me about whether or not I slept with Stevie J. Next thing I know, all hell breaks loose. Let's go. Get off Let of me. me. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Nah, get off of me. Rag the ass. 
Let me go. 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 Scrappy coming to his mixtape party with Shay. I knew I had to say something to Erica. How you doing, babe? Good, and you? Pretty. It's not easy to see your ex with another woman, but you got to deal with it, face it, and you got to move on. So I hadn't talked to you, and I wanted to come and bring up something to you because I feel like it's the best way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Not on the phone. Yeah. Not through he said, she, she said, said, what the situation is. Last night I went to Scrappy's mixtape event and he was there with a woman. Her name's Shay. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to let you know. I don't even know what to say. Like, for real? Again? He's just back to his old habits. Nothing really has changed. I guess I just wanted it so much, I thought I was seeing something, I really wasn't seeing anything. I've been dealing with Scrappy for years. He cannot be by himself. Okay. Period. Give me the bitch at the gas station, and they buddy buddy, like Ford. It's all for show. And in a couple of months, you'll see him with somebody else. That's just how he rocks. That's how he rolls. Yes, I'm hurt. Yes, you know, I'm disappointed in him, but at the end of the day, you're not hurting me, you're hurting yourself. Because okay. you, you texting. I just want to kick with you this, that, like, you blowing me up. So if that's what you want to do, then cool, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be hurting the long run. Trust and believe, it's not going to be me. It's going to be you. It's going to be you, because you're going to have to crawl and make your way back somehow, some way. You're going to have to make your way back. Scrappy needs to know what he wants because you have been in and out, not only my life, but your daughter's life. So I can't just open up my heart and just be all in a relationship. You have to actually show me that you really love me and you really want your family. Regardless of what he do to you, nothing is more painful than to face the reality of I might not have a family. I can honestly say that's what hurts me the most when my little girl is questioning that whole situation. She's so young, she can't see. Why, why you can't just come over there, you know? Why you can't just be with me and daddy? Why you can't just go here with me and daddy? And she's seven. Seven, K. And then you don't want to bash her dad. Oh, you can't. And I, I never will. I don't have to. Because you bashing yourself, she's going to see that. Yeah. She's going to understand it later on in life. Whatever you have to do to make sure that little girl is good, you got to do it. After talking to Kay, I'm going to hook up with Scrappy to find out what's really going on, you know, after finding out he showed up at his mixtape release party with Shay. And we're just going to link up at the park because I don't want him at the house. The money's already been asking questions. Something you want to tell me? Something you want to hear? I'm just putting it out there. Is there any information that I need to know from you first? I was told that, you know, you had your mixtape release party. They say you walked in with a girl by the name of Shay. So I want to know what's, I mean, what's going on. I know how it sounds, but that ain't what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't messing with that. I ain't touching that. Just friends? Just friends. We just friends. Have you slept with her? No. Never? No. <laughs> what you doing? From what I heard? Scrappy and Shay are definitely more than just friends. He has a pattern of doing this, and at this point, I don't believe him in any way, shape, or form. She's not in my life like that. Evidently, you know she is. She you you at events like with her, you at your mixtape no, release party, with, you walking in with her. That's my point. Exactly. You and then I'm not with you, so at the time, exactly. I can go and do whatever I want. Why? You're not with me, but you so text me. You saying you love me. You saying you miss me. You want to kick it with me. But then you turn around and show up at your mixtape release party with somebody else. What you want? Baby mama to just be at home, take care of you, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my baby mama. Is that what you want? I can run with who I want to run with. It's my release party. Shay is my best friend. She can be there. No problems, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? We having a good ass time. And my whole thing be like, e-money. Like, what 
And she, like, a seven-year-old, how is she to feel about all this, you know? For, you know, her daddy to do her mama like that? Is that how she's supposed to be treated by a man? Like, do you want anybody to think that? No, I don't want anyone to think like that. But what you think she gonna be able to do just like who? Like you, right? How would it make you feel? It messed me up. It messed me up. When I seen Erica cry, it's like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, she really got feelings, you know? She really must love me, because I never seen her do emotions like that. I wouldn't think that it would hurt your feelings, because I wasn't all up on her doing none of that. At the end of the day, I just love you. You've said this before, like, you, let's move forward, let's do this, I'm all in. But it's like, dang, you give up so easy. How am I to know that, like, this for real? Like, you really, really moving forward. Check this out. Can't do nothing but take my word for it and pray about it. Right now? Definitely. Well, basically, you know, like, you done been there with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done been there with all my teeth knocked out my mouth, and ain't nobody called me, nobody give me no bread or nothing. You was in there. You know what I'm saying? When I was in all them dentist appointments, had to get my face reconstructed, you feel me? All that like you was right there. The other little situation happened with old girl, you was right there again. I'm talking about I called crying like like a baby and you still, you ain't laugh, you ain't do nothing. So, no, I wanted to. I yeah, did. I know you did. <laughs> but I respect you listening to me and I love you so much. So I'm going to prove to you that I am going to be the man that you want to be with. You cool with that, mama? I am the queen. I will be sitting on my throne until that point in time in which you come to me and say that you want to take her hand and I'll be watching, hovering over, <laughs> and waiting. Well look, Mom, put it like that, you ain't gotta hover too long. Messing with nobody else. I'm done. I want to be a man. I want to be a man. I want to have my family back. You feel what I'm saying? If it don't work, it's cool. But is you gonna marry her? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. sit down and have a little dinner, both our parents, so we can ease some things out, work some things out, put everything on the table, and nip all this crazy in the butt. I think we should pray before we do this, you feel me? Oh, absolutely. Father, right now, Jesus, man, we thank you. We come to you. We appreciate you bringing us all here together. We thank you for letting us see this day, and we thank you for the love and respect that we're going to do right now. In Jesus' name, we love you, and we praise now. Lord, touch all of us as we have this meeting. sha la 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 mm. Amen. Well, now that we got that all taken care of. I'm going to fix the plate. Please. And we can get things started. Yes. So they come. And I'm just like, Lord, give me strength. Like, please let this just go in the right direction. I'm trying to marry this young lady right here. And I just see a lot of negativity, you know what I'm saying, coming. What do you think is negative coming from me? It's the, I don't believe theory. You know That's my saying? opinion. That don't mean that it's negative because it's my opinion. Right That's my opinion. I'm like this, if you love Erica the way you say you do and Erica loves you the way she says she do, then it get married. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. But they have to be doesn't believe because of what I've seen from you. And what have you seen? I've seen the breakups. I've seen the other women. I've seen the cheating. She never told you 
the positive stuff. Recently? Recently? Recently. Hey, just come Recently? talk. Just come I'm talk with it. I'm coming. Come talk with it. I know I messed up in the past, but you know, I don't really like how Erica Mama, Mignon, is really like pissing on my piss naive, my past. Like, she ain't got nothing in her club. What I don't like is leaving the good part out about me. You feel me? Well, I, don't, I know, I don't listen, like, as your mother, like, let me say look this. How, look how many times your mother's disrespecting me and continues, I'm still that bitch. And I'm and a bigger bitch. And, and, and will remain. Bitch. Oh, but and let will me say this. She don't know. She don't know her place. And that's what an error is right now. Oh, 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 listen. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is Scrappy offended about my mom not believing in our love when your mama, on the other hand, is always disrespectful and calling me a bitch? I've done nothing but love and support Scrappy while putting up with her bull but enough is enough. We're here, but since you are trying to go in on me, yeah, we're really I'm trying here. Because I was being respectful. I was being respectful to her. I'm being respectful to her. No, you're trying to go towards her. Has my mama called you a If I go off on my mom, I don't even want you to go off on her because mom, you won't even mom, never what happened. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. don't call my my wifey no bitch. You okay. feel me? And that's just real. Understood. No, that's just real. Got you. Now back to the whole situation at hand. You know what I'm saying? If we mother, mm -hmm. all us mother mm -hmm. want to be disrespectful. First of all, we can I'm be not disrespectful. a mother, and I would never be your mother. So no, I'm no. Gonna call him a bitch five or ten minutes ago. You no, I said if my mom. Who are you to tell me to be quiet? Shut your goddamn mouth. If I was Dracula, I would sink my things in your karate artery and drain you for all of it, bitch. It's a bad lie. I'm not gonna keep going with it. I won't be disrespected. You pop out what you want, jump out. I'm not disrespectful. of disrespect from Mama D. She will not be in my home, sitting at my table, and continue to disrespect me like that. Goodbye, you might see well, you. Yeah, you might well take that ring off. Come on, come on, y'all. Please, take that ring off. Take that ring off. Now you're not going to tell me. My son, please, please, no. Oh, oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. I try to do everything in the world, man. Try to make this thing come together. It's the last time, cause I'ma let Erica disrespect my mom, or I'ma let my mom disrespect Erica. Everything was cool, but Erica get out of hand. You feel me? Like I'm cool on the extraness. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the extraness. I'm gonna get by your homie. You wanna eat home? Like Excuse me. Nah, Chris came out. The bitch finna go with his mama. He got you. No you. Way. You talking about? people. I thank y'all so much. You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd beat that monster, that marijuana monster. You know what I'm saying? Because Mary's a mother fizz naive. You feel me? Hunger had me trapped. Had a hole on me. Jeez. You know, the last time we talked, you know, I was, I was high out of my mind. Because <laughs> I, I honestly, I'd be scared to talk to you. I don't even know how to talk to you sober right now, you know what I'm saying? Just, just talk, just talk. Express how you feel. Um, last time I seen you, I said, you know, like, you know, just think about being married again. Just think about it. 
why I'm in here. Because I, I really love you and I really thought, you know, like, somewhere we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted you in my future, never wanted to live without you. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know every time I get with you, every time you get back with me, it just crumble. You know what I'm saying? I always crumble. And I ain't got no control of it. You know That's what I'm where saying? maturity like I, comes in. It. It's about knowing what you want, right. getting what you want, and keeping what you want. The truth is, I don't think Scrappy ever really knew what he wanted from me or from us. I thought the engagement would change all of that. I thought we could move forward and have a family and be happy. But after 11 years of trying, it's just time to let it go. What's that? The ring. I know that's the ring, but what is that? The ring. Since when? I mean, it's not gone. It's not sold. No, it was never sold. It was never gone. It was on consignment. That's what it was on, and, and I did it out of spite, because I was mad, because, wow. you know. But what are you putting on the table for? But just so you know. Wow. I know you don't want me, you know what I'm saying? You love me, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, through the past and all the stuff you got to go through, my crazy ass mama wish that ain't the whole of it. Let me just get something straight. Our relationship, it didn't end because of your mama. I know it did. Okay, let's just. It's just us, you know what I'm saying? Right, us. We have so much history, you know, we it, always talk about the past. Well, you did this, well, you did that, you know. And it's just like, you know, we say we moving forward or we trying to move forward. It's just hard. In reality, we not. Shay and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now, so I decided that it was time that he met my people, which is Carly and her new boo job. And we linked up so me and my boo old Shay could whoop their butts in some bowling. My boy had to get his sexy on the bowl. My new man is heaven sent. He's so different from Scrappy, it's crazy. O'Shea doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model, and he has a banging body. And best of all, we don't have any drama. He's just what I need in my life right now. Oh, God. Oh! That's good, though. That's how they do. You know, that's how sexy dudes do. That's, <laughs> that's what they do. There's no hate in my blood, but the homie O'Shea, man, he just <laughs> takes off his damn shirt like, yeah, I'm fine. But then he got the nerve to have the damn hat on O'Shea, the model. That's like me wearing a hat. It's like, Young Jock, the rapper. So we're gonna go get something to drink. Girl, he's hot. We in such a good place. It's good to see Erica happy with someone after all the drama she went through with Scrappy. And Jose is straight up fine. You trying to settle down? I love him. That's so sweet. Carly is settling down. I believe it when I see it, because I know you. I might be messy, but Jock is messy too. Mess and mess is ready to settle down. <laughs> yes. Really? Definitely. So like, look. I need you to tell O'Shea to give him some pointers. Jock need to get his ass in the gym. I love me some Jock, but I got a weakness for a man with a cut body and a cute face. Baby! Jock better watch out. Every man needs to be a little jealous now and then. Gives him something to aspire to. To get in the gym. Get in the gym. Get in the gym. Absolutely. In the gym. Look, no. I'm a, uh, no. I got this, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's on me this time. Oh, no. We got this. Huh? We got it. You sure? Yeah, I got it. We appreciate y'all coming out. Absolutely. Keep working out. Stay true. You be safe. You be safe. You use your car, babe? Huh? Use your car? Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. Just asked for my car to pay the bill. And sadly, it's not the first time. He hasn't been booking too many modeling gigs lately, so I'm just trying to be supportive until he gets back in the game. I close out my tab, please. How you do? Last time I really talked to Erica, me and her, we both trying to figure out our new relationship. And boy, her stuff changed, you know what I'm saying? But now, since me and Baron broke up, I think it's time for me to enlighten baby mama on all the drama. 
damn, you know, I ain't been like in love, you know what I'm saying? But this way it get difficult at. Um, Bambi done got pregnant. You see what I mean? She got pregnant. One thing happened from the next. So it just happened, oops. It wasn't like I was trying to, but at the same time, you know. So what you call it? It's somebody that, you know, I cared about, she cared about me, and everything was cool, you know what I'm saying? But she ended up having a miscarriage, you feel me? And with Bam, you know what I'm saying, I feel like I ain't that dude for her, you know what I'm saying? How you get somebody pregnant? that you ain't even in love with. I seen you was with, oh boy, I was trying to do something with her and I was not supposed to be with nobody. I'm shocked. I didn't know all this was going on in Scrappy's life. I actually feel bad for him. I'm gonna be real with you. Just being in a relationship with O'Shea, it just made me appreciate, you know, things I may not have shown you I appreciate it. I, I, I'm, I'm loving this. Go ahead. Just... Once that we've been together, I just feel like I've carried the entire relationship. I just don't have that stability, you know, you know, with him. What you mean, like, he's a model. Like, he know what he wants to do, like. He, maybe he did model, and it's kind of slowed down. I, I, I don't know. The months, the months that we've been together, I just feel like I've carried the financial stability. But one thing I can say is, you know, when it came down to our family, financial stability, like we had that. Oh yeah, that's my whole good. thing. But as long as y'all straight, if you straight, money. that means money straight. Yeah. Now that me and Scrappy are done, I'm so glad that we can sit down and talk. We're not trying to get back together or anything, but I can say that I can appreciate him a little bit more. Well, you know what though? I'm there for you, you know what I'm saying? Just cause you were there for me, I done came to you crying before about another relationship and you ain't on me, so I feel that I appreciate it. And I wouldn't. I appreciate that. Well, I guess I'll see you later then, sweet thing. Really? You do look sexy too. You look real sexy right now too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now real sexy. Yeah, you look real sexy. <laughs> When O'Shea and I discussed my meeting with Scrappy, all hell broke loose. We fought all night, and this morning, he packed and left. I figured we were done. So you pack your stuff, you left, and you ain't get nowhere because you need gas. But nope, he runs out of gas. This here is exactly what the problem is. His ass can't even make a dramatic exit without my help. Let me ask you this, like, where did we go wrong? Several places. And, and you know what? In a sense, I blame myself, because from the beginning, yes, I did spoil you. And I feel like we got to a place where you got so content, where you were just good. Like, you weren't helping out with nothing. I feel like I carried the whole relationship. Ultimately, I feel like you used me this whole time. I ain't made you do nothing. Using this win. No, you don't, I ain't made you. Babe, can you take you care of this? You ain't got to yell. Oh, I left my wife. You ain't got oh, to babe, yell. can you do this? Oh, but babe, before you, you did that? anything, you, you, you didn't do before that. you do anything, I always let you know my situation. And I ain't, no, I don't I ain't, know. I'm not even trying situation. to go tick for tack with you, because it's not about that. It's not about we'll that, keep but it real, I'm, I'm keeping keep it real. real. I knew O'Shea wasn't rolling in dough when I met him, but I assumed he'll get back on his hustle, but it never happened. You went to go see your ex last night. Out of respect for me, text me, say, yo, hey, babe, if you love me like you say you do, what's the problem with making sure I know you straight? It's never good enough for you. you mean good it'll, enough? It's the middle be. of the night. It'll you it'll by yourself. Good enough for you. Like, you don't care. I, I care. And if you care, care we wouldn't be here now. No, we if here now care, because I can't deal with what you got no more. You use me this whole you relationship. You don't respect the new You, you use for me. what? For gas money? Yeah, gas money. Give it money. to me. Yeah, gas. No. What you mean give it to you? Get the off of me. You have to be financially stable in the relationship. But you know my situation. It ain't nothing new. O'Shea's a grown-ass man who can't even keep gas in his car. Now, I don't need much, but I ain't finna take care of a grown-ass man. Hell, I might as well stay with Lil Scrappy, my baby daddy. I you was with, with him. him and been doing you did hell. stay with Way him. better than yeah, what I Y'all might have got a hotel last so night. You know what? Four hours together, I'm good. If you I... don't want to help me, I'm good. I can show you, baby. I, I can it. tell you. I can have him if I want him. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. There's no doubt that Scrappy has a lot of history with his baby mama, Erica. And even though we thought their relationship ended last season, there seems to still be a whole lot of chemistry between them. Let's watch. Look good. Hey. I see you. I see you. Okay, 
Bambi, how to make you feel seeing uh, Scrappy with his baby mama? I mean, it makes me feel like Scrappy is Scrappy. Like, I, everybody don't gotta take everybody all that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're dating, we have great times together, but I ain't trying to marry this <laughs> Like, is that okay? She's trying to get married. I, like, <laughs> like, is that cool, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like, have a like, great I should, time. I should be able to see my baby mama, how you doing, have a conversation. It shouldn't be like that, you feel me? But you cool. touched her ass. You licked your finger first and then playful. touched her ass. It was real playful. That was That's cool. what you got? Playful. Well, let's pull another card. No, 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 listen, listen. Let's, when, let's when pull, you another another card. Card. pull another card. Where was you just with me last week, Scrappy? Where was you? What's this? Baby mamas what can be side chicks, too. More? What do you have there? Let's just see. tell me what that say. Where we was? OK. We were at the La Meridian Hotel. Who was you oh. And you what? What do you say about this? When I say about that? I think that's your real name on when, there. When I say about this, I think I'm going to tell you what I say about this. We sat right at the bar. We sat in the bar the whole time. Up. OK. You got towed up. We went up there, saw the went to sleep, and I left. So you didn't <laughs> before you left? <laughs> no. And I put that on my daughter, because I put oh, that okay. on God. My well, we like, gonna, I don't... We ain't going to bring the baby yeah, and God into it. Bring me the motherfucking Bible. I bring me the motherfucking Bible. I and if you lie on the Bible... Can we, can we get a lie to take the test? Can we get a lie to take the test? OK. Can we get a lot of tech to test for that? I will put my hand on the Bible. No, no, we don't want a Bible. This is not a federal investigation. Period. Unless the judge tell me I got to take one, that's the only time I will take one. See, I don't even really want to be here. But Bam then hit me and told me, hey, go ahead and try to make things right, fix stuff with Erica. I think I'm going to do that. Your boy on his best behavior today, and God give up, she is too. See you in a minute, boy. What's going on? Scrappy and I hardly ever talk anymore, so the fact that he suddenly wants to come by is a little suspect. All I want is peace in my life <laughs> and the money he owes me and my daughter. I just want to come over here and holler at you. The money, we got her birthday coming up, and she want a princess ball. Regardless of what goes on between us, we have to be able to put our feelings to the side and do what's in the best interest of your money. I'm so blessed to have them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can try our best to work this child support thing out. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, definitely. We the paperwork and stuff up to the lawyers. You know what I'm saying? We just meet halfway and you say how you feel, I mean, what you want. I say what I want. Hopefully, we can come up with an agreement. If I'm giving you that and that make you know what I'm saying, the money's life better, you know what I'm saying, then I'm all for it. I'm glad you realize that. Something good happened in her life, you gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. Regardless of how we feel, we are family, so it I'll, should I'll, always be cool. It should always be good parenting. Look at you. You know what I'm Coming saying? Coming over here. What? Talking like you got some sense. God must have granted me a miracle. Won't he do it? Is Scrappy really taking ownership and being the bigger person? I'm not sure how long Scrappy's gonna be able to keep the peace, but I hope it's long enough for us to plan this beautiful birthday party for Imani, because she deserves that. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. The King and I, we're getting married again. It's gonna be the wedding of the decade, and it's time for me to start planning. Hey. Hey, how you doing? You look I'm cute. So do you. Erica and I, we've had our issues in the past, but I'm gonna let bygones be bygones. After all, Erica Dixon is the money's mother. I want my united family to be standing right by my side on my very big and special day. I looked at you and Scrappy at money birthday party, and you know what? You're both good parents. Oh, thank and, you. You know, after all the stuff we've been through mm -hmm. and the stuff you and Scrappy have gone through as parents, I feel like the both of y'all love them. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters. We've been actually good. Really? Yes, he wants to set a lot of courts. So I'm like, okay, good. Like, mm -hmm. we on the same page. Lord Jesus willing, we stay on the same page. I called you here today to a flower shop because 
I'm getting married. I'm happy for you. You know, I want your money in the wedding as junior bridesmaid. Yeah. And I will also like you to be in the wedding. Oh, gee, you finna start some no, mess. No, I'm not. But get what I know, though. You want me in your wedding, Mama D? Damn right, Lord. So am I, some am I being punked? Oh, no. I'm trying to figure out if Mama D has lost her damn mind. Our relationship has always been an emotional roller coaster. But never did I imagine in a million years that she would be asking me to be one of her bridesmaids. I'm gonna have to think about being your young okay. bridesmaid, Mama D. That's a bit much. I always had a dream that Imani's mama would be part of this family. And now that Scrappy and Erica have resolved their differences, I'm gonna do my part to make Erica feel more than welcome. I want you to be part of the whole process. So look, I want us to find some flowers here. Okay. And we ain't got to make the final decision today. Mm -hmm. But I do need to go also gown shopping. This you thing. want me to so look for a gown as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at God! I, ain't he good? He fixed it, Jesus! Think. What do you think? Oh my God. It's so oh pretty. God. It's world of the it. world, baby. World of the world. Every woman dreams of a beautiful wedding day. I'm bringing all the ladies together that are near and dear to me to ask them to be my bridesmaids. You look beautiful. So. With that being said, oh, are you gonna be a part of the wedding? I still haven't fully decided if I wanted to commit to being a bridesmaid, but I am willing to help Mama D out. She's shopping for wedding dresses, and I want to make sure that she doesn't show up looking like the bride of Chuck. What tricks you got up your sleeve? Down with the throne. What tricks you got up your sleeve? None. The tricky part is, I'm hoping that these women don't kill each other or kill me for bringing them together. Please. But my best friend Chanel. She's always down for the crown. Jasmine. Mm. My very own daughter does not like my king to be. Yes. Yes. Hi. I'm gonna need the Bambi and Erica Disson to put their differences aside and come together for my special day. So, I have brought you all here today to be my bridesmaids. I mean, this is really sudden. I know, Thank but you, you know, it's only a few Thank weeks you. away. I'm only doing it. a few weeks away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew Ernest had proposed to Mama D, but I definitely didn't think they'd be getting married anytime soon. And I can tell by the look on Jasmine's face that it's a surprise to her too. Mama D just loves to surround herself with drama, and I see drama queen number one sitting over there. So I know this is gonna be interesting. So if I were you guys, get it together and be down with the crown. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Chanel. Of course, I'm down. Erica. I'm here. The band. Down for the crown. And to show how down I am, I am going to contribute some hair for the whole bridal party. Are you really? The Shimmer Elite Extensions. Isn't that nice? I'll pass. I have classics, I'm good. Yeah, for those That's of us sure. who so, wants you know. to shimmer and not look dusty, I have the hair Girl, for Girl, bye. You look like a horse over there okay. sitting okay. down. Okay. So. Hush, hush, hush. 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 Silence, silence. silence. It's all about my day. Ladies, right. ladies, ladies. Right. ladies. Right. It's about it's your, your day. day. It's about my and day. And I'm going to make you look amazing. I don't have time to deal with the family pain. Okay, look, I'm about to have whiplash right about now. Chanel, get out the lit break. Go ahead, Mama okay. D. It's about you. Go ahead. See, this is what I'm talking about. I was just sitting here thinking me being a part of this wedding may not be so bad. But here we go with this bull crap again with bamboo. Lord, what have I got myself into? Princess Jasmine. I need you to be down with the crown. Well, I don't want you to go down that same road that you went through years ago. And I won't. He done been in before, was nice when he first got out, and then went back into his old shenanigans. How you know he won't do that again? Because he won't. And I need you to don't make a spectacle out of my deck when all the queen's horses and all the queen's men won't be able to put <sighs> Princess Jasmine's ass back together again if you don't get it together, girl. Now, I need you. My girl Erica Dixon in forever. And we must have a lot of catching up to do. Cause last time I checked, her and Mama D hated each other. You did such an amazing job. Thank you. This lady right here. I see your new body. Yeah. Okay, girl. Boobies thicker than a snicker yeah. sitting up. Since when did y'all become so cool? Because you know, at one it's point in time. It kinda happened. I never would have thought. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Oh, look at them girls. I'm so proud of them. I see this one, baby. They 
have a new lease on life. Me and Erica back in the day used to not agree on anything, bump head, but you know what? I don't need to be wasting any time beefing with Princess Imani's mother. And the same goes for the BAM. I definitely don't want to get the BAM mad because I don't want her to put her hoofs into my heart. We are all family now. I have an announcement. You know, Another one. BAM is scrappy have gotten married. Are you still supposed to be making announcements about what? I don't you know, know she can't hold does. water. So let her make her announcement. Go ahead. I can't hold water. OK. She's expecting. That's awesome. I know. Scrappy and I talked a little bit strictly about co-parenting. Of course, I know him and Addie, AKA the BAM, are expecting, but it is what it is. No grudges on my end, but I must say, the petty part of me does love the fact that Bambi now has to deal with Mama D and her big ass mouth for the rest of her life. Shirley, let them talk. Let me and you mingle with the guests. All right. Rashida is my girl and always will be, but our schedules have been so crazy, we haven't been able to catch up. I've been hearing all types of crazy stories about Rashida's marriage, and I've been dying to find out what's really going on. Right on the street, you know, I'm hearing all types of stuff. Oh, God. So, you know, you my girl. What's up, Sheeta? Girl, we have been separated for a long time. Like, once I found out, I was like, get the f away from me. Wait, what the girl name is again? <laughs> oh, so her name is Jasmine. So do you see you guys reconciling? I don't really know. It's a hard, it's a hard, hard pill to swallow. You know, he just been back and forth and with trying to get his relationship together with me. And the fact that you over here now packed up all your out of the place you was living and just Debo on your way back in the door, just talking about, just let me be with my kids, just let me be with my kids. I mean, the house is big as I'm never on the other side you of the house. You let him back in. So. You <laughs> did! <laughs> you don't think you're being too nice? Well, finish him, son. But I, I needed to finish you, him. You do, you do. You know what, on some real We built this family. We built these businesses. We did all of this we together. We or you? We. But look, I know how so I do things. I can't have her of all, it ain't but no, I can still ain't deal no with her relationship over here now. It ain't no let he nobody still got know. access to you, though. He's going to have access to me, just like Scrappy's going to have access to you. Because uh, thank you very much. Uh, just like that. Rashida's trying to compare her situation with Kirk to my relationship with my baby daddy. No, sweetheart. Not if Kirk is still living with you. I know how hard it is to let a man go that you love and have built a whole life with. But to be honest, Rashida's going way too easy on Kirk. It hurts my feelings to know that Rashida's just constantly dealing with the same thing over and over again with Kirk. Back in the days, Rashida would have kicked Kirk's ass, Miss Charlene would have gave him the business, and we would have been pulled up on Jasmine. Jasmine, we need to pull up on her like we did Ashley Nicole. What's up? <laughs> Pleasure. You don't want to sit down and I talk? I sure do not. You know why? Why not? We should all have a conversation. You think so? <laughs> we should see us really good. When you ready, call me. No, I, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a bunny? It's bunny. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Grandma, hey, Grandma hey, baby. Oh, I love you. Is that your new pet? What's that? Oh, oh my God. God. I want you to think about it. Why do you think it's two bunnies? You got twins. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, I've been just very private with my life and what I had going on. That's right. I know how to keep a secret. After my crazy relationship with Imani's father, I learned how to approach my love life quietly. Me and my new man are a very low-key pair, and I want to keep it that way. No stress is best for a pregnant woman. Who's the pappy? Who's the pappy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the pappy? Is this the guy I met at my birthday yeah, party? Yeah, the guy you met oh, at okay. oh, oh, my birthday A lifetime of memories just isn't enough to capture the depths of my love for you. Nothing has gone according to plan this year. Finding out that I'm pregnant with twins, then on top of that, having the complications, dealing with the twins along the way, and the 13-hour labor. The journey isn't over yet, it's just beginning. 
is the weirdest feeling coming home without my girls. My first baby came in at three pounds, six ounces, and my second girl came in at four pounds, one ounce. No matter what, I'm just praying that my girls come home sooner than soon and that we're all together as one collective family. No, my heart is not far. I'm keeping positive thoughts. I'm trusting God and the doctors to bring my daughters to good health. And I'm thankful I have my Rocky money and my mom to help me through all of this. I can't imagine living without you. I can't imagine life lives without you. Without you. I can't wait for my daughters to come home. But until then, I'll take comfort in the company of the other two most important girls in my life. Who would I be without my mom and my mini bestie, Imani? Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe, click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right, Cheer it!